Hey everybody, this is Matt with MattsMath.com. Thanks for joining us here today as we talk about how to find the volume of cylinders. We're in the Math Common Core Standard of Geometry and we're going to be solving real-world problems today involving volume. All right, I got any questions, how can we find the volume of a cylinder? Pretty simple, huh? You'll be able to answer this question by the end of the lesson today. All right. Well, here is some orange juice. Value, value, value orange juice. It's 100% juice. Only real oranges. No fake oranges in there. All right. So what we're going to do today is talk about how do we find volume. Think about the amount of volume that is inside this orange juice container. This is concentrate. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one container of this, fill it up with three containers of water, and pour it in a water pitcher. If you've ever done that at home, man, you are dealing with math right then and there while you're making your best breakfast drink. You can have it for dinner too if you'd like. We do. All right. Let's talk about it. All right. Remember, volume is the space inside of an object, okay? You have the base of an object and you find the area of it and then you multiply it by the height. So that was how we found it with the prisms, okay? We found the area of the base here, and then we multiplied it by the height. Well, with cylinders, man, no different. You find the area of the base here, and then you multiply it by the height. Now, the only thing here is that the base is a circle. So you've got to remember how to find an area of a circle. Do you remember that pi r not round, but pi r squared? Pi r squared, all right? So that is the biggest difference there, is that we've got to make sure that you've got pi r squared times the height, the area of the base times the height. No difference, okay? So let's do that. Let's actually find the volume here. We're going to compare these two cylinders. I want you to find the volume of both of them, okay? Find the volume of the first shape, and then find the volume of the second shape. Well, let's do that together, okay? First one, radius is 2, height is 9. Second one, radius is 3, height is 4. Which one's bigger? Any idea? Just take a guess. All right, let's do that. Let's find the volumes here. Okay, so this first one is the radius is 2, so it's, remember, it's the volume equals area times the height. Area of a circle is pi r squared, so it's going to be pi times the radius squared, which is 2 squared, times 9. And then the second one is pi times the radius. The radius is 3 times 4. So this gives me 4 here, 9 there. So this is 36 times pi. Now, I don't want you to multiply by 3.14. I know that you know how to do that, okay? But just leave it as 36 pi inches cubed. Now, this next one, 9 times 4, 36 pi inches cubed. Wait a minute. We got the same answer. Believe it or not, the volume of these two shapes are exactly the same. Pretty crazy, huh? One, I mean, if I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, hey, maybe this one. You know, it's wider, it's taller. Wider, not really taller, actually, this one's taller, all right? So they can be deceiving when you look at them, okay? All right, let's uh, get your answers here. Same thing I just pulled up. All right, find the volume with a diameter. Any idea how you do it with a diameter? Oh, yeah, you just cut it in half. So it's just 12 divided by 2. Okay, so that's 6. So your radius is 6. You square it, that gives me 36 times 5 gives me 180 pi. Pi r squared times h, 12 divided by 2 gives me 6. Square it, 180 pi cubic centimeters. If you write cc, that's fine. Centimeters with a little 3 up there in the exponents is fine as well. That's your answer. Why don't you do these two on your own? First one, no big deal, just like what we've been doing. Now, the second one, you got to work backwards. I'm giving you the diameter, all right? And your volume is 84 cubic inches. So work backwards. If this is the radius, work backwards and tell me what the height is, okay? All right, you got them? All right, here are your answers. First one was 160 pi, or about 502 inches cubed. And then that uh, fourth one is about 3 inches tall. All right. Now, when we think about two different cylinders, um, the one on the right has double the radius. 
compared to the smaller one. They both have the same height. What's the ratio of the two different volumes? Assume the cylinder has a radius of 2, okay, the smaller one, and a height of 1. Would you find the volume of both of them and then compare them, compare the ratios? So when you double the radius, what happens to the volume? All right, and this next one, I want you to find the volume of this can. It's six and a half centimeters wide. It's 12 centimeters tall. And if you've ever made orange juice, you take one of the cans of the concentrate, dump it in your water pitcher, fill it up three more times, dump that in, and then that's your total volume of the drink that you're going you're gonna to have. All right, so you have a total of four cans there at six and a half centimeters in diameter, 12 tall. Find the volume of the can and then tell me how much total drink of orange juice are you going to have? All right, you getting it? Don't forget that it's given to you in the diameter, so you got to do 3.75 as the radius, okay? Square it, multiply by 12, and then how many cans of orange juice or do you fill up? Four because you've got one concentrate and three cans of water, okay? One of the things I want to talk about is what are cubic centimeters? If you've ever watched a doctor show or have seen doctors talk about cc's, you've been to the hospital or the nurse, and they say they need something, you know, 50 cc's of this. Well, a cubic centimeter, if you think about it, it's a little cube that's centimeter by centimeter by centimeter, is known as a milliliter. Did you know that? So that's how we relate lengths to volume. One cubic centimeter is one milliliter. So when we talk about our orange juice, you can think about how many milliliters or how many liters actually did you have. Why don't you do that? Talk about how many liters of orange juice did you, actually, did you end up making. All right. Now, a cylinder has a surface area of 1470 square meters and a radius of 9 meters. What's the volume of the cylinder to the nearest whole number? Just ignore the answers at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I'm going to put my hand over it so you can't see it. Oh wait, you still can see it, can't you? <laughs> Alright, so that's the idea though guys. So when you double the radius, what happens to the volume? You quadruple it, okay? Because two times longer radius is actually two squared, so it's actually four times as big. And then 1592 cubic centimeters, or milliliters, and that's actually about 1.6 liters, right? And then that last one is 4,324 cubic meters. Got to work backwards with one. That was a tricky one. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Can you find the volume of the cylinder? Not much different than a prism, huh? Mm, I think I'm going to go get myself a glass of orange juice. Why don't you do the same while you're working through volume of cylinders? This is Matt with MathsMath.com. Thanks for joining us as we talked about volume of cylinders. Check us out on Facebook, Solving Maths Problems, or on Twitter, MathsMath. Math. Enjoy math and orange juice.